G'day and welcome to Crystal Clear Mathematics where it is easier than you think. I'm Graham Henderson and we're currently celebrating Subtraction Fest, uh, a series of videos where we're looking at different methods for subtracting numbers. And this one is the first of a series of three where I'm going to look at mental subtraction, not methods that we actually do on paper. Now I'm, I'm going to explain them on the board, but these are methods that we might do if we just saw them in a book or uh, on a receipt or something like that, where we had to perform the subtraction. This method involves counting. Now, there's nothing, provided you can be very good at it, there's nothing particularly wrong with counting on your fingers. Believe it or not, the same part of your brain that does the calculations also controls your fingers. So they're very strongly related, but this method just involves counting. It's a good tried and true method for subtracting. Here we go. From 56 up to 72, we would go 56, 66. Oh, if we went to 76, that's too high. So 56 up to 66 is 10. And from 66 to 72 is another 6. That's it. We just count it up. Now from 47 up to 93, we go 57, 67, 77, 87. We don't want to go to 97, so we went up by 40. And from 7 up to 13, or from, if you like, from 87 to 93, would be a gap of 6. From here, from 30 up to 120, I'm starting to slip into another method. I don't want to do that. Let's count from 38, 48, 58, 68, 78, 88, 98, uh, 108, 118, that's 80. We're up now up to 118, and to get from 118 to 126, we have to add another 8. Now, some people like that method. I put it in as a video because I don't want to discount it. It's actually quite valid. The next two methods are ones that are more approved of in schools, but if you like it, then use it, and I thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.